Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to a brand new video here on Sneaky Sasquatch. And in today's video, we are going to be getting the rest of the cassette tapes. I got four left to get, and I'm going to be honest, I have done some research, and out of episode, I was able to actually discover where all of these are. But uh, the first cassette tape we're going to get is, I probably should have ran rode my bike, but uh, we need to head over to the cave. Because over at the cave is, has anybody got a bike I can borrow? No. But we need to go to the cave because we have to go to a certain section in the cave where there happens to be a certain person we need to talk to. And we need to actually make it Halloween apparently because we do that then if we go back into the cave again then we are able, apparently there's like a cassette tape that spawns in and I think it's called I Dressed as a Human. So we're going to run up here to the cave, we're going to activate Halloween and then we're going to have to come back tomorrow uh, and then hopefully the cassette tape will spawn. Supposedly that's what happens. Also there's coins laying around everywhere now because I think there's a mini update. And so that's kind of cool. So I guess we're just going to collect a few coins as we go. Let's run up here and let's get over in this area. Actually we can just follow the coins pretty much. Hold it. That's kind of cool. New fastest money making method? Question mark? No. Because it would take forever to collect a thousand coins. Alright run up here. We need to talk to this guy right here. If he'll get off his chair. Get off your chair buddy. Thank you. Alright. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. We just... Yeah, that'd be fine. So, you gotta, it costs a thousand dollars. That's kind of crazy. But it's okay. The next one... Now, while now we're waiting for that. The next place we need to go is the ocean. Because in the last episode, I searched all over the place to try to find one of them in the ocean. Because there's literally a cassette tape called The Ocean. And I searched all over everywhere. And I could not find it for the life of me. And out of episode, I was like, it's gotta be in the ocean somewhere. So I went searching, and I actually was able to find it. And it's so annoying because I looked back on the video, and I literally went, like, right past it. Well, we come to the bottom section, and I believe it's down here somewhere. This might take me a little bit to find it, but I will find it. It's, uh, in the middle somewhere. Dude, this is, this is a problem. This is a problem. I might, I might not be able to find it again. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, no. This could potentially be an issue, but I think it's fine. I will be able to find it. It might take me a little bit, but I'm pretty sure it's in the middle section. I'm nearly positive it is. There it is. It's right there. So it's it's not in the deep waters. It's between the two deep poles. Last time I was looking in the deep water, and I kind of just avoided the shallow stuff. But yeah, it's in the deep water, or it's not in the deep water. Uh, if you come over here, there's deep water here, and then if you come over on this side, I think there's deep water on this side as well. Yeah, down here. So it's basically just above the deep water section, but it's all in this shallower stuff. So there you go. I don't know. That's the best I can describe it. And also, I guess if you just follow along on the video, that would probably be the best way for you to get it. Anyways, on to the next one. So we've got that one, and there's another one we have to get over here at the island, which is actually for scuba diving, which is uh, kind of cool. Uh, I, I was not sure... If there were any that were, you know, we had to go scuba diving for. And I basically did a little searching and I discovered that there was, in fact, one place where there was one cassette tape that was underwater. And that's over here. It's in this shipwreck. It's at the very back of it, I believe. So we're going to swim down over here and we're going to go see if we can't get this cassette tape out. Hopefully we have enough oxygen. And I think I kind of went on the wrong side, but it'll be fine. And there's the ship. Where's the entrance? Okay, there's the entrance right there. Let's go and swim through here and swim up here. Go down here. Hopefully our dog can follow us. I guess if not, we'll meet him when we come back out. Swim down here and yep, sure enough, there is a cassette tape there. That is what I'm talking about. Submerged Sasquatch. Perfect. Okay, so let's get out of here and let's let's go back to shore. And we got half our oxygen tank left, so this is gonna be a little close, I think. Maybe not, I'm not sure. And then we got, I think, we have the Halloween one, and then we also have one more to get. But before I do that is, I actually need to go to the town hall. The reason why I want to go to the town hall is because if you'll notice, every once in a while you'll see different people drive by on the highway with trucks. And they go flying by, and okay, I need to equip the shoes. Why, why aren't my running shoes equipped? There we go. Okay, wow, that's so much better. But the reason why being is because every once in a while you'll see people go flying by with pickup trucks full of like lumber 
and like hamburgers and it's 6 40 what the world well fine we'll come back in the morning then that's not a problem let's go go to sleep but every once in a while you'll see people go by and i want to adjust the speed limit to like really slow because i adjusted it to like really fast but i want to make it really slow that way if we ever do see those people we could actually take their vehicle and then take it back to the ducks and then they could open it up for us that's kind of what i'm thinking and that's kind of what i want to do so that's what i'm going to do in the morning or that's the first thing i'm going to do and then i need to run over to the cave and make sure to grab that cassette tape as well and then we only have one more to go also i should probably go get some dog food for this buddy or for this guy because i don't actually have any uh, but that'll be fine okay so the first thing i want to do is we're going to jump on the bike and actually just run over over the cave real quick we're just going to get that one that way it's done that way, also, if I accidentally forget and sleep, then, you know, I don't have to spend another $1,000 to reactivate the day again. Let's run over here. Oh, my goodness. We ran into that person. I'm sorry about that. Run up to the cave. And, actually, I wonder if the bike works. Does the bike work to actually be able to ride inside the cave? I don't know if I ever have. Okay. This is... I've never taken a ninja bike through a campsite before. Probably isn't the best idea. Let's go in here. Oh, wow. It's got lights? Yo, that's legit. That's the fastest that minecart has ever went in its life, I bet. Yeah, that's kind of cool that we got lights and we can just drive around. Okay, let's run back here. And as far as I know, it should be just spawning back in here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there it is right there. And we got I dressed as a human. Perfect. Okay, we can go over to the town hall now. And we can now go change the speed limit. Oh, my goodness. That's that's kind of the exact reason I want to change the speed limits because there's also people just flying around and If you ever try to walk anywhere or try to like if you ever need a car It's extremely difficult because people just fly by at a hundred miles an hour and you can't do anything about it So let's run in here and let's go to the third floor and we'll adjust that and I think I might adjust the traffic lights as well And also I kind of want to look at some of the other projects that we have up here because I haven't really done much with those and are you serious? This is actually... I think this is the last one. I actually think this is the last cassette tape. 40. Well, alright then. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool. We actually found them all. Uh, Well, that's neat. That's an added bonus. Well, perfect. Alright, well, let's go talk to this guy now. Uh, yeah, we want to make some transportation projects. Oh, that's, that's pretty neat. So we got all, all the cassette tapes now. All right, well, let's go ahead. Let's adjust the uh, cycle length on the lights to 30. And the speed limits, they go all the way down to 10. That, that, there we go. So now everyone's going to be going really slow. But also, I just now realized, you know what this means? We can now take, because we found all the cassette tapes, we can now take the VR goggles off. And, oh, my goodness. Look at the clear. Everything looks so much clearer now. Oh, that's so much better. All right, let's go talk to this guy. Because we do have a few thousand dollars that we can spend on stuff. You want to make some changes to the town? Yeah, sure, why not? All right. So, we got the town hall that we can customize. And I think we can actually... We can actually customize the buildings. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Can we, can we unlock that? The bank. Everything's like 10000 isn't it? Supermarket, stop and snack, the newspaper, police, diner, street lights, fire hydrants. Oh, wait, can we adjust the street lights? Oh, we can just remove them. What color can we... Oh, well, that's... Oh, what color should we make them? Ooh. Like a dark red? Oh, I like that. That looks good. How about the fire hydrants? Should we, should we change the fire hydrants to, like, yellow? Yeah, let's make them green. I don't know. That looks kind of cool. So the next thing on my list, because we found all the cassette tapes now, and, yeah, we basically have done, you know basically everything we needed to do i mean i was planning on this video just being like just about finding cassette tapes we found them all but now the next place i want to go actually is i want to head over to the spaghetti restaurant because i have not been there in a while oh look at that look at that color that green Ugh. i don't know if that works or not uh let me know in the comments if you want me to keep the green thing actually nah forget it anyways i want to head on over to the spaghetti restaurant because i haven't been there in a while and i haven't picked up any of the money that is there so we're gonna head over there see how much money there actually is hopefully there's a decent amount because that'd be kind of cool if there was cash out 
And uh, we got a decent amount here. Let's see how much one each one is worth. So 38,652. Okay, they're like worth like a little over a thousand coins. Oh my goodness. All kinds of stuff. Forty-eight thousand one hundred and two dollars. That's that's what I'm. That's pretty good. That's pretty good in my opinion. So, oh, hey, look, this is no one's watching this one. Yeah, well, we might as well just take a little bit of candy here if nobody's gonna say anything about it. I might might just go ahead and do that. Next thing I want to do is I want to run in here to the good old grocery store, and we're gonna go ahead and pick up a few things. And what I'm gonna do with these? Actually, what what should we buy? What, what's the cheapest? Twenty cents. 20, 10, 20. What's the cheapest? Those are worth 10. Oh, bananas and apples. That's what we want. Okay. I need to buy a bunch of stuff because I'm going to take it all over to the island campground. And we're going to basically put it inside of the cooler over there. That way people always have something to eat. Because if they have something to eat, then they pay more money. And that's what, I, that's what I'm after, you know, with that business. So we're going to basically buy all of the cheap stuff. So anything worth like five, five coins, we're going to just buy so tomatoes, you know, we're going to make sure they get their veggies in and their their bananas and apples and stuff. You know, it's, it's good to eat your veggies. So we're going to buy all these carrots too. That way they'll have good eyesight. You know, we're, we're truly helping these people out here. All right, let's get all this. Is this celery? Is that celery? Is that asparagus? I don't know what that is. But anyways. All right, let's go to this end one. Oh, man, we got more potatoes and more. I don't know what that is, actually. Those are onions, aren't they? Okay, that's many as we can take right, let's go over here we're, we're gonna be a good sasquatch we're gonna pay for stuff yep that'll work thank you very much all right let's head on out and teleport over to the island campground and then we're gonna have to dump everything inside of this cooler over here and oh my goodness yeah this this might take a little bit actually well give me a little bit and i'm gonna just empty everything out over here all right i believe that's actually everything that was, that's one full thing now, so that's pretty good. And let's talk to uh, the old ranger here. And do we actually have anything else to do? I don't think we have anything. Yeah, we've literally built everything, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's just go ahead and put in a random code, and we got a decent amount of money in here. But I don't think these things are worth near as much. Yeah, they're definitely not worth near as much. That's totally cool. Don't mind a little bit of money here and there. Actually, we should check the logbook, because I haven't read that in a while. Is there like... Thank you for a wonderful... My goodness. That's pretty cool how, like, everybody just leaves their sign thing of how, how their stay was. Anyways, I think that's all the time we're going to have for today. Hopefully you have enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.